What's going on, Full Nation family? I'm Sick Blows back with another reaction video, and today we're checking out Slipknot Left Behind, the official video. Uh, this is actually one of the most requested that I got in my Twitter DM. So here we are. If you are a fan of Slipknot, slap that like button and subscribe with notification bells on. Road to 100,000 subscribers, guys. And also, let me know what other Slipknot song I should check out down in the comments below. If this gets 200 likes, we will keep doing slit knots all week long, guys. So go ahead and slap that like button. And without further ado, let's get right into the video, boy. All right, so here we have it. Slip knot left behind, guys. We have merch now available link will be in the description go ahead and cop it go ahead and send me proof of purchase and you get a guaranteed reaction here on the channel you already know i got my fire ready bro because you gotta have fire ready when you're dealing with slipknot you know what i'm saying and i have the lyrics here man and it's been a while since we broke down some slipknot songs so i'm really excited to check this one out again let me know what else has to check out from slipknot down in the comments below man you guys that are hardcore slipknot fans way longer than me know the band way better than me so let me know which are a must check out from slipknot man let's go ahead and get it right into it man <laughs> Okay. It's gonna start like this, huh? Mm. Okay. All right, hold on, guys. First of all, in the verse one where he's like, I've known, like how he goes with that metal screaming vocal and then goes on to singing regularly. He did that in verse one and also did it, um, I think it was like under the All My Friends, and then he goes into doing that. Again, I love that. It, it keeps you on your feet, keeps you like guessing on how he's going to be singing. Then in the chorus, he goes, I ignore you. He tries to ignore the feelings that continue to uh, surface. This proves to be difficult when he's honest with himself and closes his eyes, seeing what's hidden inside. Um, then as I close my eyes, I feel like I, uh, I feel it all slipping away. We all get we all got left behind. We all let it slip away. The first line of the song is very programmatic. Um, I've known that our faces that disappeared in time. The chorus further explores this concept. Um, basically, whoever wrote it, which I'm pretty sure was Corey, um, feels that he's left behind by everyone and everything as he grows old and everything slips away from him and left in oblivion. Um, I feel like a lot of us feel like that a lot of the times, bro, where you just feel like everything slips away from you, man. At some point in time, you just feel like everything is slipping away from you. You don't know what to do. And I really think that this is a really dope song and how he chose to interpret that. Sick guitar too, bro. Yo, really quick, is it just Corey on the, I got, is it just Corey on the vocals? Is it just him? I, I think it just might be Corey, but like the way that it sounds, it sounds like 
it's like two different singers and shit, man. Uh, and I wanted to talk about the uh, one of the lines that says, you have to be a liar just to infiltrate me. Uh, this person probably used Corey for their own personal benefits. Uh, and, and let's speak about that. I feel like when you're famous, when you're doing this, this and that, I would like to think that it's kind of hard on it's kind of hard on who you choose to date because people are going to want to use you. And I feel like this is what he kind of had uh, to talk about. Basically, he felt like he was lied to in order for that person to get close to him and do what they wanted to do with him. So dope ass line, man. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Let's go. I'm going to do it. Let's go! Wait! Yeah! I knew it was coming! I knew that that was coming, and I want to take it back to hear that breakdown again. Uh, but I want to talk about how he says, I can feel it on my mouth. I can taste you on my fingers. A little word play by Corey. One taste with the mouth and feel with one's fingers. Quick word play with switch around. Technically, um, it's a device, you know what I'm saying, called uh, synth. Sentasia, I think it's like I don't know how to fucking say it, but it was a really cool, cool uh fucking like twist the words right there that he did, man. And like this video is very, very fucking dark, and I love it, man. Let's go. Here it goes. Oh! Slipping away. Slipping away. Woo! Slipping away. I love this from Slipknot, how they're able to do this, man. Like, as I close my eyes, as I feel it slipping away through the other chorus, he wasn't singing it the way he sang it here. Like, right here, it shows more aggression. Now he's getting more easily angered because of his frustration about every time he closes his eyes. He feels it slipping all away. He could have easily just copied and pasted the chorus over the song. Instead, he decided to sing the chorus again uh, for the third time, I believe, in a different way. And I love that, bro. It shows a little aggression. It shows more emotion. And that's why I love Slipknot's music. They are not afraid to speak on subjects that other bands might be afraid to speak about. And they're not afraid to show emotion and aggression. I'm loving this. Away. Yeah. Come on, boy. Woo. And I'll slip away. I hate how YouTube does this. I can't watch the ending of the video because of that stupid stuff, man. All right, man. Uh, that was Slipknot with Left Behind. And rating-wise, I'm going to go ahead and rate it. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, the reason for that, um, I feel like in some parts, it wasn't as strong as the entire song. However, I did like the message because I could relate to it. Uh, there's times that I feel like my life is slipping away from me. Like there's nothing that I can do to control it. And that is a very very annoying feeling to have another thing that i do love is again is how Corey progresses and the band progresses throughout the song with how much aggression they are putting out into the song right so in the beginning you kind of get the message you hear the lyrics you hear the words that he's singing as far as like okay i'm i'm letting everything slip away you know every time i close my eyes like yeah you get it if he's he's going through stuff but not until the end do you really feel that raw emotion on how he really feels and the fact that this is really annoying him? So for that, man, I have to give the song an 8 out of 10. 
instrumentally speaking, I, I wasn't the best for me from Slipknot. I've heard better from them, but that's what happens when you put out so much music. Some of your instrumentals on one song are going to be killer, and the other ones will be just okay. But overall, 8 out of 10 for this song is pretty good. That is a B. B plus at that. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, so really good, amazing. 8 out of 10 for this song. Guys, don't forget, we have merch available down in the description below. If you buy merch, not only are you supporting me and supporting the channel, but you are also going to be getting a guaranteed reaction here on the channel if you provide me proof of purchase and also get a shout out in that video. We also have a Discord server. Discord is a free app. It'll be down in the description. And as a pinned comment, join us on the Flow Nation Family Discord. We talk music. We talk life. We talk about everything, man. So definitely join up. Slap that like button. Subscribe and notification bells on. And I'll see you guys next time with another one. Bow.